Hey guys and welcome back. It's Jen. If you don't know who I am, I am a self-taught nail enthusiast. Now, as you can tell, I am going to be doing my Vetsy nail set. So I picked out a few things that I wanted to use today and I'm actually going to be putting them on tips because I don't want to take this beautiful set off yet. So I'm going to put it on tips. Before we get into this video, I would like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you never miss a Manny with me. And yeah, let's get started. So these are the colors that I picked out. This came in the box. This is number 37, which is called Love Song. I picked this from my collection. This is number five, Remote. And let me just say, they don't look anything like they looked on the cap. I guess they kind of do now, but this one kind of shocked me a little bit because <laughs> this is like neon, okay? So we're gonna use these two. And then I grabbed a white, which is 15 young love and it's just straight up white and so i'm going to be using this foil which i thought the colors matched perfectly as well as this one and i want to get that cute little teddy bear on on my nails i don't know why i said that so weird but first i have to start with polishing the nails so i need a gel brush which i thought i had one from betsy let me see I sure do, and it is brand spanking new. I am gonna grab their five-in-one top coat. So give me one. So basically, just like last time when I used solid gels, I like to dip a little bit into like one of these top coats, and I just kind of rub it around on my brush in the lid to sort of like condition the brush, you know? It helps the solid gel to move a lot better. These two nails, I'm gonna paint with this fuchsia color, so. Now, these are all the same sizes, and let's do this before we get ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and grab, oh no! My rose just fell and fell into a million pieces. Okay, well, there goes that, because I'm not putting that thing back together again. I hated that thing. It was such a pain in the butt to put together. The pieces did not snap easily together. Okay, let me get my brush with a little bit of this top coat on it, because I feel like it just needs a little bit more on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do these two with this color. My blending is not going well, by the way. It's not. I think that I might buff it and start over, or just not even, like, not even try. Uh, okay, this is such a beautiful color, this one. It's so stinking pretty. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is like a beautiful lip color that someone would wear. And look how like creamy this stuff is. It just glides, I, that's why I like this stuff. It is really, it kind of takes like a little bit of a curve, but then once you get the hang of it, it's like, ugh, so gorgeous, it's so gorgeous. Oh. And while we're here, I have a huge surprise that I'm gonna announce at the end of the video. So you gotta stick around for that. But I want you guys to like take your guesses right now what you think it could be. I will tell you this, that it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. I didn't even like tell my husband and he went ahead and did it and surprised me with it this past week. And so I'm like super excited and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. So, you gotta stick around. All right, these guys need to cure. I'm curing for 60 seconds. All right, for this one, I want to do like a glitter ombre. So I'm gonna need the five-in-one top coat. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use this brush here. Let me clean it off. And I'm going to basically just top the whole thing with this. That way we can get like a nice sticky base. Whoops, whoopsie daisies. All right, I got a lot of stuff going on. Let's push it back so we can see what I'm doing. Give me my little jewel, okay? All right, so top coat this. Well, base coat, really. This is a base coat for now. That is what my thing says when it turns off. So now that we've got that, then I'm gonna take, I just have like this little ombre brush here that I use for like glitters and stuff. So, <laughs> so I think based on the colors that we're using, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. It's kind of got like the fuchsia and the pink and then lighter pinks. So that's what we're gonna use today. And we're just gonna pick these babies up and we're gonna stick them on here like this. And then I'm gonna go over it with like one of the other colors. Probably like the lighter pink, but we'll see. I feel like it almost needs like a glitter in the background, but there was no glitter that really like matched these. So I think it's gonna be more of like a clear nail. Okay, you know what? I think this is just gonna be like a clear nail with like a bunch of glitters in it. 
so fun because I don't even want to ombre over the top. I just want you to be able to see all these beautiful jewels. Like, look how cute this is right now. And then when you cover it with like a thick layer of like the builder gel, which is essentially what that top coat is, it's gonna look like all this stuff is like floating on top of the nail. Too bad that this is like a buffed nail. I don't really think about that, but that's okay. If I were to do this in real life, it would be like a clear nail that was never buffed. Okay, now what I have to do is just kind of make sure everything is like laying flat on, well, not flat because we know it's not gonna be flat, but just laying in the nail, like in some of the top coat. If it's not, then I'm just gonna take it off. And like this guy right here really needs to come off because he's got two little things on there and they don't wanna come apart. There we go, okay, all right good enough for me. I need one more little thingy just right on this side. Okay, so I have to cure this. I, like I said, I've got to move everything around, make sure nothing's stuck to it. Okay, I think we're good on like being somewhere. So this is what we got. She's so cute. She is so adorable. It was following my brush the whole time, which is so annoying. The camera, I mean. Okay, once we cover this, it's gonna look adorable. And maybe I will put a cut, I don't know, we'll see. I kinda want it to just be a clear nail. I literally have no plan of what I'm doing right now. Okay, so let me, I'm thinking of what I'm thinking. Okay, so I want that nail. I know I want the lips or the teddy bear on this nail. All right, I'm gonna do an all white nail is what I'm gonna do. So this guy's gonna be all white and then we can put the polish away. Make sure my brush is clean. I think for the stamper, like I want to do a stamped nail, and I think that this will be the best one for that. I kind of want to make it like a French style, but I don't know if I'm able, like I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do two coats on everything, and then we'll be back to actually like start doing the nails. So before we do anything, I really want to try to do one of these heart molds. I'm going to do like one of the more medium sized ones. They have like more bubbly and more like flat. I think I want more of like a bubbly one and I'm going to use this color for it since you didn't really get to use this color. So basically you just like paint it everywhere and then you'll cure that and then you fill it in with like the builder gel. You could also use their Oh gosh, I have like the hard gel um, stuff too. But I mean, this five in one will work just fine. Hard part is like trying to get every piece that color without like wiping it off. So I'm probably gonna have to do like two coats of this. Let me see here. So that looks pretty cool. I am gonna just cure this, I guess, upside down, I wonder. I'll cure it on both sides. I really wanna see how this works. I'm just gonna wipe off like any excess that got like up top. Okay, let's cure this. Are you guys ready to see if this actually works? Cause I'm so excited. I did a little baby one too. And if this works, then I'll do a couple more in like the other color, but let's see here. Oh my gosh, it's just popping right out. Ah, look at that. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, shut up. It's so adorable. That is so stinking cute. Okay, how cute will that be like on a nail? Come on. Stop it, that's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. All right, let's try the little itty bitty baby one. Look at that little baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are so cute. And it's so freaking easy, oh my God. Okay, you got me there, Betsy. Like, woo! That made up for the ugly colors that were in the kit. I'm trying to turn them over. It's so hard with my nails. Damn it. Okay. I do have to file like a little bit of excess, especially off this teeny tiny one, because you kind of just have to dump the stuff in there for this one. Okay. I'm definitely going to do a couple more so that we can add them on the nails in a few different colors. Why not? Like, that's so cute. I think I like the hearts. I didn't do the roses, but I just think like the hearts kind of go with the look that we're going for today. So I will try the roses at a later date. All right. So I'm going to get kind of cleaned up and organized and then we're going to start applying everything. All right, are you guys ready? This is what we've got so far. I do need to go ahead and add builder gel to this guy, so I'll probably just do that off camera. Like, it's kind of just thickening it up so that nothing is gonna get filed off in the end. And I will probably top everything to make it just as thick as this nail because this needs to be thicker to cover. So anyways, let me, I'll do that and then I'll get kind of cleaned up and stuff. Okay, now it is time to stamp. I was gonna pull this off, but I figured you guys would wanna see it because it's so satisfying. 
<laughs> All right, so I am, I was gonna use this one. Um, this one I bought by myself. This was like the Lovers Haters. This is plate M045 and it's got like lovers on one side and like haters or like, you know, sort of anti-Valentine on the other side. But I'm gonna save that because today I'm gonna use this one and this is BM, B, I know it's so annoying, it's very glary, BM XL355, classic beauty. Those ones right there. And it's sort of like a heart pattern. I really wanna do a French nail for this. The only way that I can see doing that is basically having to clean it up with a cleanup brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. I know my husband hates absolutely hates when I <laughs> do these. I don't know, sometimes I can put it somewhere where the glare's not so bad, but I can't seem to find anywhere today. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint. And I found this color here in my collection. This came in with the Christmas stuff. Uh, what is the name of this? This does not have a name on it, unfortunately. The sticker probably fell off, but it came in the Santa's Workshop set. I know they're calling it red, but it's not red. It's like a dark pink color. So that was the only pink stamping polish that I had. So that's what I'm gonna use today. So again, I'm just gonna paint it on here. I may need just a little bit more and then scrape. And I like to scrape to the side. I don't know why, it just seems to work for me. One more time for good measure. Woo, that's bright. And I'm just gonna use this stamper cause I seem to have more luck with it last time. So rolling motion and got picked up and I'm not really worried about anything that got picked up because I'm gonna stamp it right onto this tip, but I'm going to try to kind of just stamp it towards the end, if that makes sense. This one is kind of hard to see through though, I will tell you that much. I gotta like close one eye to do this properly. Okay, and they are crooked. I did it crooked but that's okay, I'm gonna clean it up anyways. See, now it looks red, but I swear it's pink in the bottle. Shoot, should I do a different color? It is pink, like this is a bright fuchsia pink and it's red when you put it on a white nail. But tell me that's not pink. That is like the pinkest thing you've ever seen. All right, I'm gonna have to do it one more time. So let's clean up and try again, okay situated now and because it's in gel i can just wipe it right off hallelujah i will never stamp on nail polish again i'm sorry okay pick this up and i swear to god if it's dry <laughs> okay you know what right i love that this is gel polish because i can just wipe it right off got like you gotta act fast i just did it and it dried and so i went to go pick it up and <laughs> it didn't work I did it Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. I probably shouldn't waste time closing that damn thing, but here we go. All right, slide. And I got their clear stamper, because, yes. All right, here we go. I got their clear stamper, because I needed to see where I was stamping this thing. Let me move this the hell out of here, so. Oh, look, no glare. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, you did not. The nail moved, but the nail shifted, but that's okay. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Now I'm just gonna like grab a cleanup brush. I think I'm just gonna use that Betsy brush that we used earlier. And I'm gonna dunk it into here and not drop it because I have done that before. I'm gonna just start erasing well not erasing but you know what i mean removing to get to a french it's gonna be a little harder i might put this in dampen dish just so i'm so sorry i'm gonna put it in a dampen dish so, so i can like dip there because i'm gonna need a lot more alcohol my brush is gonna be wet constantly um i mean nail polish remover sorry I don't know if this is gonna work or if I just completely, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I found this sparkly um, polish. If this doesn't work, and I, I don't think it is, I think it's just gonna keep staining. Like it's gonna keep running. Dang it. I found this sparkly gel polish from Vetsy. 
and it goes gorgeous with the coral. I don't know if it's gonna go with this, but um, yeah, I don't know about that. All right, I'm gonna try off camera to clean this up as best I can. I might just use like a lint-free wipe and just wrap it around my finger and remove it that way instead of trying to use a brush because I think it's just gonna keep staining. Kind of doing like the like an alcohol ink effect on the nail. I don't think a brush is the way to go. So I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna dip it in here and see if that will work. Let me just give it a shot. Oh yes, much better. So I'm gonna clean this up off camera because God, the patience it's gonna need to do this. There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to do this on camera, but in case you didn't get a good look at it because I don't know where the focus went. Oh, my arm moved in the way. This is how she's looking. It's cute. The hearts are cute. Let me just clean it up and I'll be back. Okay, now I gotta apply foil gel on these two babies while that is curing. And yes, I did use some white to touch them, touch them up. Yep, I sure did. I sure did and I don't feel bad about it. So, <laughs> nope. And there she glows. All right, foil gel, nice and thin. Tip two, gotta make sure you get that. Ugh, it's so nice to do nails that aren't yours for a change. So much easier. Like, it really is so much easier. I don't have to bend. I don't have to twist. The camera sees what I'm doing. I don't have to try. It's a nice change. I don't know. It's definitely different, but it's a nice change. Okay, let's get these in the lamp. And this is how this baby is looking, honey. She looks great, right? She looks great, right? So cute. I did clean it up, and then I cleaned it up with some white because there was only so much that I could do. All right, we are ready for the foils. Yes, we are. Anyways, I want this section right here. This one right here. And since I spent 15 minutes looking for these scissors, well, this should be cooled down by now. And now I'm kind of regretting doing both of them. Here we go. You gotta let it cool in case I didn't mention that, but when you put the foil glue on, you have to let it cool. Okay, here we go. And set her down. And press, 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 press. Press like your life depends on it, honey, okay? If you do not press, then it will not come off. That's all I'm gonna say. So press, 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 press. You can use one of those fancy tools or you can just use your finger. I choose to just use my finger. It works for me. None of this wants to stick on this side, which is really pissing me off because if this looks like crap, then I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Mm. All right, all right, all right, woohoo! It's not as a, it's not as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be, but it still looks cute. Like you can't even really see what it looks like. Um, unless my, unless my husband zooms in on you here because that's really really hard to make out unless you're like up close it looks adorable don't get me wrong but it's not easy to see what it is okay should i just go ahead and do this section right here for this one or should i find like a better section let me see and let's try to get this in the middle nope not quite <laughs> we're off center off to a good start <laughs> we are not centered <sighs> why Eh, who cares? It's so cute, and I was expecting it to be much more like vibrant. Because when you look at it with the foil over the top, it looks really vibrant, right? But then I don't know. Maybe the red will work because there's a little red in this. It kind of seems to be okay. I'm still thinking of putting that flash gel on here. I made little hearts out of it. Just thought I'd show you. These ones right here are made of that little flash gel. But anyways, okay, back to this. Well, actually, you know what? Probably you really don't want to watch this, so we'll just skip ahead until I pull this one off, okay? I think she's ready. Let's see. Yeah. Get off. Okay. All right. You can't really... Who cares? You can't see that anyways. I think mostly that was on the sticky tack. These guys are so cute! Okay, well, let's... Let me go ahead and top coat everything. Um, just as a safety precaution. And then when I come back, we'll bling these babies up, shall we? It's looking cute. This does not, she just doesn't go. What the heck, man? I wish I had like a nicer pink. Thanks. I'm so mad about that, but what are you gonna do? Maybe I should just buff that and then use this. I think, I think that, I think, 
to get let me see i just want to see something give me one sec i want to paint this on uh i can't do that i gotta top coat it but i'm gonna paint this on the top part and see if that makes it any better we'll be back we'll be back after i top coat everybody we'll see how that looks i just gotta try this one thing and i gotta see if this is gonna help this look i gotta try this sparkly pink up in the top of this section here and the reason why i top coated it um is that gonna look good or is that crazy is it crazy or does it actually look kind of good it kind, i mean it ties everything together like without that then this just looks so wrong you know so i'm gonna leave it because if i don't do this then it just looks re like it looks like it doesn't fit oh boy and i almost i kind of want to paint the back side of this with it too like would that be crazy if I just took the back side of this nail, let me stick this in the lamp and then I'll put this on this way because I feel like it needs, it needs something on the other side, right? So let me put this in the lamp. The only problem is like the glitter is not well dispersed. That's the problem with these disco gels. Okay, you go in the lamp, you needed that, honey, you needed it. All right, and then this, same thing for this guy because I feel like he, she's a little nakey nakey if you know what I mean. Oh yes. It needed that color to like pull it in, you know? And it like it just totally matches perfectly with that peach shade. Ooh, I love it. I just, let me take a peek from the other side. Let me see. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, we, we needed to do that. Okay, here are these babies. And when I come back, we're gonna bling. All right, before I start blinging, I hate to say this, but I just feel like these don't go because they're just gonna blend in the background. But, um, hello, this, this selection, that gorgeous. I do wish that this didn't blend too much into the background either because that's kind of making me angry. But I'm going to go ahead and start blinging and I kind of just want to use some gems like this and I really want to use these hearts that were in the kit, so... Let me just get my gel. Actually, I'm going to use their top coat. 5 one top coat to do this. And my picker upper tool. So, let's get the bling in, shall we? So here's it all said and done. Now, one thing I will say is after I stopped filming, I hated the little plastic thing, the plastic heart that I had placed over here. So I went ahead and I put one of the red hearts there and then I was like, well, shoot, now I need more red. So then I just started adding red everywhere. And then I was like, well, damn, this looks good. <laughs> There are a couple little things, like I would have used a different color here. I'm a little upset that that doesn't quite match as well as I would have liked it to. But other than that, I think it's cute. I'm also sad that you can't see the foils. Like you really can't see them. Like this one you can barely see and this one like I can't see at all. So I just covered it up. I mean, honestly, like what's the point? I don't know if I should have done like a white background or what. Like it looks so great, like the foil over it. But then once it transferred, it just wasn't as vibrant as I was expecting it to be. So I don't know if it's the foil or the foil glue. Either way, it's not my favorite, but I do think overall I was able to make it like a sort of cohesive look. <laughs> Hopefully that's what you guys think anyways. I love Betsy boxes. So I mean, even sometimes it's hard to like come up with like one solid nail look because there's just so much stuff and like it doesn't always go together, you know. 
but I think I did the best that I could, especially on such short notice, because I started filming this like the day after I did the unboxing, and I normally give myself weeks to come up with a concept and a nail look and all that stuff, so I think I did the best that I could. I hope that you guys like it. I hope that you enjoy watching videos like this and unboxing videos, and I hope that you will stick around. So don't forget, I think I already told you to subscribe, but do it anyways. Now, let's get to our surprise. I don't know if you were paying attention or not, but if you look down below, there is a little like scroll, if you will, I think that's what that's called, of my new merch. I have t-shirts, guys, t-shirts. I have t-shirts that you can purchase. You can purchase them down below. Basically, uh, yeah, I my husband surprised me. I keep saying subscribed. My husband surprised me um, this past week with them and I've been thinking about it for a while. I looked at a store because YouTube like, sent out a whole thing about you know merch and how you can display it on your channel and yada 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 so please please um show your support go buy some merch we're really excited i'm sure you know depending on how well these do then we'll add more pieces my husband ordered me one so i'll be wearing it in i don't know hopefully soon we don't know if these are like the only colors that we're gonna go with we may add more like it just depends on how well the sales go so i cannot wait to rock mine i got mine in black because that's just the color of my soul but I do like the pink and the berry shades so I hope that you guys will go ahead and purchase them they are in extra small and 2xl I believe so extra small through 2xl I believe so I really hope that you guys will buy them so thank you guys so much for watching and all of your love and support and I hope to see you next week bye guys